Hello, Leo. Guess what? It is time for your mid-October to November reading of this current year. Check it out. Someone sent me some oracle cards. Technically, the dark mirror. They are very dark and they are very insightful. And I like them. And we're using them for your vibration for this read. So, yay. Leos and cross watchers. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it's just a goddamn card game. Right? Right. Also, if you want a personal read after this, my all my info is in the description box below after the uh, music channel listing that I have there. Newcomers, first reading is on the house. Everybody, everything else comes with the price afterwards, of course. And I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Now, let's see what's your Oracle card, Leo's. Peaceful Among Thorns. Ooh, I like that. I like these cards. They're so weird looking and shit. Like, they're so dark. And there's, like, even a, a bunch of skulls on the front of the book. Ah, oh, like, whoever sent this to me, thank you. This is, like, right up my aesthetic. I love creepy shit. It just makes my heart go flutter and such. Anything that's, like, Halloween and shit, I love it. Maybe it's because I got, like, Sag rising and such, too. And I'd be a Sag in, in Vedic astrology. But that's beside the point. What is this? 26... Peace among Thors, 26. Moon phase is the first quarter, and this stage is ex is acceptance. The spiritual can't solve the material, but it can transcend it. Ooh, look at that, Leo. A futuristic monk is the visual seed. His skin crossed by small circuitry meditates in the locust position. Oh, I thought that was just like sitting Indian style. Okay, well, that shows how old I am. I'm from the fucking 90s. The eight-pointed star inscribed within the circle, within a circle, is at his back, like thorns piercing the air. A golden locust aura envelops his body. His sentence is: "Coexistence of the material and the spiritual is the human way to enlightenment." I like that. All right, going dark. We talk too much about spiritual stuff, spiritual that, spiritual this. Not that the spiritual side isn't important, especially in an age when everything seems reduced to material to a materialistic drive. But aren't we going too much to the other side? I have a money problem. Go spiritual. I have a health problem. Go spiritual. I have a love problem. Think of true love and go spiritual. I want to have sex. Go spiritual. If we were truly able to solve problems like this, what is spir what is spiritual would have been sold in what okay the writing the grammar in this book really makes me question what the actual fuck is i just kind of lost my place for a minute I, I i need to rearrange the words um let's see if we were truly able to solve problems like this what is spiritual would have been sold in grocery stores. Sometimes to solve money problems, you need money. And to solve love problems, you need to fuck. Strange, but true. Getting spiritual is not what solves our problems. It is what gives depth to our solutions. It makes them meaningful. It takes us from the small to the wide, from the river to the ocean, but sometimes we are not ready to make it our center. And therefore, it's perfectly fine if we do not. That's your um, vibration for this half quarter, Leo. There we go. Like, maybe you're not getting in the whole depths of the spiritual side, but that's perfectly fine too. You, like, honestly, you really don't have to. I mean, I get. I, I, yeah, I get the sentiment. I'll, I'll, I'll just end there because I'm not going to taint. So far, we haven't laid your cards down. So anyway, let's see. The years and cross watches. We got the moon. You might be emotionally tethered. You and someone else. Hearts played like a string, and you have the three of swords reverse. Heartbreak like a pile driver, right? Your thoughts and feelings deal with the three of cups right here, having good times. But the root of this is the 
Nine of Swords. Kind of like, yeah. Man, I, I so like these Dark Mirror Oracle cards. Dude, Oracle cards are awesome. I'm so glad whoever got this for me got it for me. This is cool. Then, like, three of Wands and what's coming up for you. The Wheel of Fortune Reverse. And the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio. We also got Sagittarian energy, Pisces, Cancer involved here as well. Okay. Let's see what we got coming for you, Leo. Well, the moon right here, someone's getting their emotions played with. Someone might be trying to offer their love up, Leo. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for sure. You know? I'm trying to get you into that devil relationship a little bit, that pairing. And I... Is someone... Wow! Okay, Leo, I, I'm totally understanding your uh, oracle card a little bit now. Like, if you're trying to find some solutions, it's definitely not from a spiritual sense of things. When you can see the shit right in front of your face, you know? Hmm. Three of Swords. I feel like there's somebody who is trying to come in to offer you some sort of love, but I feel like they're not telling you their true intentions, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe somebody is trying to bring some spiritual shit your way, and you're just like... I don't believe in that fucking... That's stupid. It's dumb. It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna go play video games now. You know, like, it's it, not even a concern to you. But they're trying to bring it up, almost like, set it up to where, like, you guys are, like, almost a connection or a pairing in order to trap you a little bit, I feel like. Leo and Crosswatcher, mind you, Crosswatcher, switch where you need to. You know more than I do, right? Now, the Three Swords scenario where it's a pile driver to the heart for you a little bit, there might be a relationship involvement here, possibly with a Gemini if you're dealing with one, right? Um... There could have been dreams that y'all had that might be just floating away. Once some secrets come out. Once again, the moon. Something's coming out with secrets. I don't know what they are, but I'm curious enough to figure out how far. Let's see. Like, this is a time period where you just use your sense of, like, intuition leo which a lot of you do have really good intuition like i don't know what it is like hp lovecraft one of my favorite authors of all time he's a leo and if you've ever read any of his stuff he's got some dark ass fucking thoughts you know the manipulation the helplessness the sense of insignificance and unwarranted um hatred for no reason other than the fact that like you're like an ant to things that are so much greater and more powerful than yourself you know like that's kind of a Leo thing, but I feel like this is some involvement with the person who thinks that uh, they can make you bigger than what you already know you are. Like, they're trying to convince you they can make you into a god. And you're just like, that, do that doesn't fucking exist. You know, like, that would mean I have competition and I'm not sharing the throne with anybody. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love my husband, but he's such a Leo, man. He really is. Oh. Well, that's what, something I could see him doing, you know. Okay, so the first card up here. Someone feels like they can't run back home uh, to um, other days, man, with this moon card. They feel like there would be nobody to run home to if they got trapped in this scenario. And they would feel as though they were flubbing around their emotions, ruining shit, you know, with this water sign once again. This water sign might feel like, you know, like they'd fuck something up. I feel like they don't exactly want you to go running away or running back home. But it's not like they're good at ex it totally, totally expressing their um, feelings anyway. Like if this was like a penis, you know, think about it. It's 
needs you to burn a little bit. There we go. All right, down below. All righty, the truth is about to fly. And someone who picked it up way sooner than than it actually happening, like this high priestess already knew that this was going to kind of come up with this truth getting set free in this scenario where the secrets and shit are finally being revealed. And it was just like, oh my god, I've had an idea that this shit was fucking going on around me. This entire god damn it, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You know, like it just bothers you a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to light my Palo. I found it and I'm very excited. Or at least I wish it would light anyway. That'd be nice. But yeah, it's like, um, once this truth comes out, it's kind of like somebody who already kind of picked up that was going to happen. Um, it's just sitting there like, oh my god, it actually happened the exact way I said it would. The actual fuck, you know? Three of cups and the thoughts and feelings. Just trying to have a good time, man. Just trying to enjoy things. Just trying to have the happy life. Celebrate with friends and families, despite the fact you're living in a fish. Now, you're feeling a bit secure with yourself, Leo and Crosswatcher. Nothing going wrong right now. Ooh, you even got like uh, some stuff you might even be teaching people or learning from somebody else. The high priestess right here. Um, but... There might also be somebody who's um got issues with control that you might have to deal with, right? I mean, I feel like your security is based on like hmm. Leo, either this is you or this is the person you're dealing with who is like really secure in what they believe. Like you have a good time with this person possibly you um, chill with them a lot. You don't have a lot of issues with them, but it's like they're pretty secure in what they believe and they're pretty hard-headed about how they're going to do it, too. You know? The root of those thoughts and feelings is nervousness. I think you feel nervous right now to have a conversation with this person. Um, nothing's happening with that, though. Because an en But an ending is coming eventually. Um, that's going to make someone feel like they've invested in a battle. Leo, I think you're dealing with somebody who's trying to convert you to a religion or some shit. I don't know. This is really fucking odd. <laughs> Like, I don't know why it is, but I always picture, of all the zodiac signs, Leo would be the least one to go and worship anything else other than themselves. I know that's a kind of a shady thing to say, but I'm being serious, because it's like, why would... I don't understand why you guys would believe in something higher than yourselves. You guys are literally the um, zodiac of the self. It, it would feel like it wouldn't make any sense to me if you guys thought that way, you know? And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is, um, you're really worried that if you don't take any action, they're going to try to end things and end you with their, like, whatever it is. Like, I think you're afraid that, um, they're not going to stop until, you know, they have you on your hands and knees worshiping their god or just them in general i don't know they're kind of fucking weird you know but it's almost like the tower would get hit again if this kind of thing were to happen you might be engaging with somebody who um you know they already hit you once with um what they believe and then they keep coming back trying to see if the tower will fall is this even burning any no it's not this shit's hard to burn i have to say or something i don't know Like, I like the shit, but it takes forever to actually catch. Well, maybe it's not supposed to catch. Maybe it's just supposed to be quick. I don't know. Either way, because my house smells like patchouli. Okay. Anyway, 
Yeah, but yeah, it's like it's like this person's coming back for a second round of like, I don't want you to come in my house and preach to me about Jesus a little bit, Leo, or whatever the case may be. But it's somebody who um is trying to get you on their side when it comes to belief paradigms and shit or their church or whatever, you know. They're going to come in and be like, look it. Like, we don't have to argue. We can just have a peaceful fucking discussion, right? Which is just like, you know, Leo, you're like, I, I didn't ask for one, but thanks. Okay. What do you want to say? You know? Oh, God. <laughs> that there are two, that there are two great beings that are fighting for your soul right now that you have no idea that they are doing this. I want to introduce you to our Lord and Savior. Blah, 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 blah. Like, that's what you're... <laughs> Leo, you're ready to take some people out with you. That's how you feel. Like, all right, well, I guess we're all going to meet the maker today. Uh, I'm not in the mood for this shit. <laughs> I really see... I, I think someone's preaching to you, Leo, and you aren't appreciating it at all. Um, I don't think you see a need for this, and this person just keeps pushing it on you. And it's annoying, and you don't like it. Let's see. What's down below in the roots of the thoughts and feelings, right? Yeah, like I said, you're ready to take some heads off. And, um, mm. Dear Lord. No pun intended, right? But still. Like, mm, Leo. <laughs> I have no idea if this will even resonate with half of you. If any of you. But this is like... This, uh, like, I really like these because these really give a theme to what the fuck I'm going to pick up for certain people. I really like that. I really like the energy of the scenario. But it's seriously like someone's trying to come and get you to be part of their religion. And it's like, I have nothing to lose by giving this except for their, um, credibility because they be slipping and tripping and messing up. Like hell, they even messed up over here at the very beginning. It's just like you like you're figuring this person out over here. It's just like you know that there's something up. And there's a reason why you're not buying their bullshit, right? There's something like, you know, why the fuck are you always talking about spiritual shit or bringing up this kind of nonsense, right? Like that's not going to help anything. Like you could easily fix this shit now by doing something, you know? Like you are a fire sign, Leo, so you know. If an action can be taken, you will take it, and you'll take it quickly. And you'll make sure you look damn good doing it, too. Now, let's see. This Three of Wands. You're waiting. You're seeing if you should keep feeding into this shit or not. Which I think is a big no, because it's a waste of your time and energy and funding. Um, you really aren't even in the mood to fight with this person, honestly. You're just like, I don't want... I don't... I don't... I don't... I, I, don't, I don't have a donation to make. Please don't hit me. I told that to Gemini. <laughs> um, I was reading their cards, and it was like someone had the energy of, please don't hit me again. And it sounded abusive, but it's like, oh my god, what the hell? That is a weird um, thing for me to pick up, but I feel like it's one of those things where it's just like, you're just wishing they'd stop ringing your doorbell almost. Ooh, two more. Uh, but they're fighting? Like, these people are keep coming back? vigilant uh, not really showing why they're so desperate to have you but they got a smile on their face they're just like oh no it's cool man we're we're, we're awesome together we make a good team and you're just like mm, i didn't ask you for this uh, <laughs> i'm not a part of the church of latter-day saints oh lord like this is making me laugh a little bit because like i grew up in a pastor's home my father is a pastor, so I'm a PK. So this shit's just I'm chuckling the shit out of me right now, right? And like, even when you tell them, like, no, you're not interested, they're just like, oh, well, okay, well, I'll see you later. Um, and then they come back for more. <laughs> <coughs> Oh my goodness, Leah, this is great. Uh, they want to come back. They'll keep coming back swinging. Even if they don't get a victory, they'll come back and keep trying to fight harder and harder. Um, and then you're just here looking at this dude like, yeah, I know, but uh. So they just want to come talk to you like you're a buffalo and shit, right? And you don't understand a word because you're a fucking buffalo. 
you know wheel of fortune reverse nothing's happening nothing's moving nothing's changing leo i really appreciate this right now you guys have totally put a smile on my face and brightened my mood today i love you guys um someone needs to uh make a decision between this world and the other or this person is trying to convince you of this and not taking that action will lead to disastrous results oh my god okay um and there's a way to escape death even after all of the sneaky stuff you did. like they want you to put your world they want you to put the wheel of fortune on hold to consider um, do you want this 3D world or do you want the world of insert religion figure here world, you know, because not taking this action today could lead to disasters. What if you die tomorrow? What if this happens? What if you get AIDS out of nowhere somehow? You know, what, what, if, what if there was a shooting or something? Like, you know, guilt tripping kind of stuff, right, with this Asa wand shadow side reverse, right? And, like, you can escape death. Or whatever, which you really can't. Like, we all die. You know, everybody dies. But still. It, 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 it's like they just keep coming back, like, expecting more. Just being, like, mmm. Being all Fannie Mae, like, acting all nice. Be like, you are gonna do this, aren't you? You better... Uh, you better let lo like the Lord love you and shit. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm totally getting into like my younger years of being sacrilegious on purpose. My apologies. I know not everybody's like that, but I grew up in this environment and I know exactly how this feels. So I'm. I'm it's kind of like, oh, I have someone to relate to on this shit. <laughs> King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Um, this person just, they can't get over the shit. They're just like, I can't believe my tactics didn't work. Like, they're just gonna come up and, and be like, I, I just can't get over the fact that you're not part of my religion, man. And you're just like, no! I don't even want to, go take your cups elsewhere. I don't want to hear this shit no more, dude. Like, I'm not being part of your church cult thing. It sounds too weird. Um, it leaves me feeling funny. They might even act like that you're reacting out because you're not in sync with um, yourself emotionally the way you would be if you became part of their whole um, thing. You're you're literally looking at this person like um like if they were like if they were a karmic Leo's that would make a lot of sense because it's like they're trying to come in and see how strong your will and ego are, which I will say is pretty fucking strong. As a Capricorn married to a Leo, oh my god, <laughs> you guys uh, can definitely keep up with us. And you're also pretty good at, like, making this happy. So, yeah. Turbulent relationships sometimes, but honestly, like, not bad. Is this a Mario song? Yeah, this is the Mario song when you're battling with Luigi in Super Mario World 3, I think. For the Nintendo, or the Super Nintendo. I'm very sure. That's kind of gravy. <laughs> and you're battling this dude. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Alright. So, Leo, let's go back up to the top. You are just like, you know what? There's no reason for me to keep this up. I'm just going to throw the bird off the cliff, and if it flies, it flies. But I'm not waiting on this shit no more. Like, you are no longer sending out a bird and making excuses for this shit. Um, mainly because this person's always coming up. This person could come up drunk off their bullshit and then present you some muddy water as if you're supposed to accept that shit. And you're just like, well, what the hell does this do for you? Oh, well, this answers my prayers. What prayers? What are you talking about? Like, what do you mean by prayers? Like, you're questioning them. You're very curious. You're very much like, why, are, why do you keep bringing this shit to me? Why should I keep wasting my time waiting on, like, a sufficient answer from you? You're not giving me anything that you're ingesting. You're giving me this shit that you pick up after you drank this cup. You drunk bitch, you know? Like, you tell me something that's a little bit more legible or gives me some more insight. I need something to chew on that's actually gonna make me feel like, you know, it's about me a little bit, you know? Not just this thing that I don't understand. Second row. You know, 
you are trying to be as gentle as you can be. You know, if it comes to cutting somebody down. Like, that's something you're definitely worried about. But you will drop the swords back down on a dude and cut the, cut the heart in many pieces and let him just do whatever. Um, if you so choose. But you want to be gentle if you're going to hurt them again. Because I, I feel like they've done this so many times before that, like, you already know the um, MO a little bit, right? Okay. Last row. Thank you so much, Leos. I really love your reading today. Because this, like, this just, this just made me feel like this just brought back a whole lot of memories for myself. And mind you, I don't have any Leo in my chart, but just seeing how you guys are kind of dealing with the situation, you or your cross watchers, you know? Um, it put a smile on my face a little bit. It's just like, oh, that's cute. Um, there could be third party, there could be indulgences, there could be stuff. This person just does not know how to quit. Hmm. Leo, you might just offer this person some alcoholic or um, other substances. Just be like, look, dude, I'm here. Look at right. I like here's a peace offering to smoke this joint and be cool. You know, let's go get drunk somewhere. You know. Like, this person just can't let shit go, and it's like... Like, it's almost like they feel like there's a third person involved. I don't know. Like, it's so weird. Like, they definitely feel like they're fighting um, a guilty conscience of sorts, Leo. I'm gonna drop one more, because I'm just like, hmm. Yeah, okay, alright. Yeah, you're, you're, you're probably... Like, even if this person splits from you, or thinks that, like... There might be a, another person involved who's convincing you to stay to the dark side or whatever, or whatever the case may be of why they keep coming back. Maybe somebody's trying to force them to um, come back and try to convert you, and then they offer you some stuff to help you rest tonight. But I feel like, Leo, like, you might have to, like, give this person something in order to help them deal with, like, a, a, a guilty conscience they keep fighting. Because I think they're one of those um, folk... Of the religious type who, um, you, they care, and you can tell that they care. And I think that's why you're trying to be really gentle with them, too. It's just like, you know that they're not just doing or saying some shit just to piss you off or get under your skin. You know that they actually have feelings for you, and you know that they, um, care very deeply about you, or else they wouldn't keep coming back to this. So for you, you're kind of like, here, here, look, you know, like, your, your religion isn't all that bad. It's just not for me. But if you want, maybe I'll a a attend a service with you one day, and they get all excited, and you'd be like, oh, yay, you know, like, they might get all happy about that. That might help quell them. You might have to humor them just a little bit just to alleviate some of their fear. You don't have to keep going to church every day. Do it once or twice, and then just, you know, block their number. Move to another fucking state. I don't know, but you'll figure it out. But Leos and Cross Watchers, that's your reading today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you may like, you may share, you subscribe, whichever one is you're choosing, you know. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but no pressure, of course. But I love you guys' faces. You take it easy. Bye. -bye.